Well, hello there. So this video is going to show you how to capture your Arduino code, which is plain text in the Arduino IDE, and put it into Word, Microsoft Word, in a way that looks formatted similar to the IDE. So if you copy and paste directly, copy and paste, the problem is it's the wrong kind of font, it's the wrong, it's not colorized, it's not indented the same. So you'll get the code in there, but it's not very easy to read. So there are three ways I'll show you that are easier to read ways to get your code into Word. So I'm assuming you're writing a, um, a lab report or something like that. Okay, so the first method is to just take a screenshot of the uh, the Arduino IDE. So just to take a screenshot of the Arduino IDE. So screenshots you can use um, different tools for that, but the built-in one for Windows is if you want to take a screenshot of a single window, you make the window active by clicking on it, the Control Alt Print Screen copies the window. So then I can paste it in to Word and it's it's an image so you can't copy and paste the text so it's not very useful for sending it out but it looks exactly like the IDE because it's a screenshot and then of course you could crop it down so it's a, a good size. So this is a, a nice way if you really want to keep the exact look or if you want to see the tools or anything like that uh, you can use the screenshot approach. So the second method is to copy as HTML. So that's one of the options in the Arduino IDE. You can do edit, copy as HTML. And again, if you paste that directly into Word, it looks bad. It has all of the color changes and things, but it's an HTML code and, and Word doesn't interpret that well. So that's not a good option. If you paste it into a separate file and save it with a .html, suffix, then you can open it in a browser and copy it there. But if you don't want to have an extra file around, you can also use um, an online HTML editor like this one from W3 Schools. I will put that in the in the description. Um, but if I paste all that code from the Arduino IDE and run it through the editor, then you can see it comes out here just like it looks in, on the, in the IDE, but this is HTML formatted and if I copy from the web page, it looks good. The font sizes sometimes are a little big and you'll get some line wrapping. So you can either make all of the fonts smaller or add line breaks or something, but you can see the comments are wrapping around here and same with these kind of lines. So you might have to fix a few things. Okay, so the last method, the third method, and there are I'm sure other methods, is to copy the, the text from the Arduino IDE. And I use this one myself because I like Programmer's Notepad is a text editor um, and it, it's, it's a free text editor. It's really nice if you need text editors for other programming or, or editing config files or anything like that. I do like Programmer's Notepad. So if you paste the text, the code from your Arduino into Programmer's Notepad, you don't see anything special here, but you can change the formatting, which it would get from a suffix. So if you named it with a dot C, it would do that too. But we change it to C, C++, um, coloring, then we get this, and we can copy that as RTF from Programmer's Notepad, and then we can paste RTF into Word, and you get a nicely formatted bit of code. It's differently formatted, different colors. You can set up the colors in Programmer's Notepad to match the Arduino IDE if it matters to you, but at least you can tell the comments from the code and that kind of thing. So those are the three methods that you could use. So either a screenshot, 
pasting HTML, copying the HTML format from the IDE and pasting it into some sort of HTML renderer, like the one from W3 Schools. Or Programmer's Notepad, if you don't mind installing another program, is a good option as well. All right, if you have a, another favorite way, leave it in the comments. And I'll see you later.